born during the summer prior to Pearl Harbor with an eye on the Pacific and Japan's imperial ambitions there, the first second marine aircraft wing marines and sailors reacted swiftly after December 7, 1941. Taking flight from its original stations in California, 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing provided air support for the seaborne armada of Marines and sailors as they island hop toward Japan. After three years of bloody combat, Japan surrendered and 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing returned stateside to a new home along the Noose River, Cherry Point, North Carolina. From there and across the Crystal Coast, 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing has trained thousands of naval aviators for service across the globe. Housed at Cherry Point, New River, and Beaufort, flying leathernecks with 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing have deployed in support of nearly every U.S. conflict, operation, war, engagement, and contingency since heading east in 1946. 2015 marks year 74 in 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing's history with aircraft that show evidence of the evolution of naval aviation. The Corsairs, Hellcats, and F-4 Phantoms of yesterday have given way to the F-35s, MV-22s, and C-130s of tomorrow. As the platforms have improved and evolved, so have the Marines and sailors who fill the ranks of 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing. Deploying aboard Navy ships as an ever-ready force, joining partner nations to respond to regional crises, and transporting ground troops belonging to 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force, 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing continues to provide the best combat and humanitarian response, air support available anywhere in the world, and continues to be second to none. Operational excellence. Standard based. Respect and concern for all. They are the tenants that define the Second Marine Aircraft Wing heading into the 75th year of existence. It's important that Marines understand the heritage and culture of the Marines and those that gave the ultimate sacrifice before them, that served before them. It's very important for Marines to understand that history so that they can continue the legacy of the greatest fighting force in the world. It's important to me because of people like my father. He served proudly in the Korean War uh, with 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing. And all those fathers of all those young Marines out there, they deserve our respect and our remembrance. History is important. And, you know, 70, 74 years ago, you know, we had some of the earlier aircrafts. And 10, 15 years from now, we'll look back at CH-46s, for instance, the same way. And it's part of that history. And I'm glad to be here and, you know, be able to celebrate the uh, Second Marine Aircraft Wing's 74th birthday. Not many people get to get to do what we do. And if you kind of stay motivated through it and just think about the pauses every day and the bigger picture of what we're out there to do, supporting those pilots so they can do their job. And just knowing that you're helping, even if it's like a little thing. I know for a fact every single one of my brothers who's a corpsman, they have took the oath to care for Marines and sailors, both alike. And that's what we have in Marine Aircraft Wing. We have a family that works together. They care about each other. Happy birthday, second mom. Happy birthday, second Marine Aircraft Wing. Second Marine Aircraft Wing, have a happy 74th birthday, and we'll see you next year for 75. <laughs>